this this is the scent of the summer i'm sorry i'm sorry today i have a great grand unboxing from diptyque <laughs> I found my love for Diptyque. I'm sorry I've slept so long at Diptyque, but I'm finally appreciating it now in all of its glory. So I went into the Diptyque store for the first time and it was so amazing. I went to the standalone store in Buckhead and it was so cute. It was so tiny. They had all of the Diptyque. I realized Diptyque does diffusers, they do candles, um, they have a bunch of other fragrances that I didn't see um, at Neiman's. They have hairspray. Oh my gosh, the cutest little store. And the customer service was top tier. I was smelling all of them. I'm like, does this have da 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 That's the thing I love about smelling fragrances the most because like my nose just becomes so much more advanced. And discovering new scents and fragrance houses, you see how different notes get act a certain type of way i'm gonna do this unboxing i have diptyque's newest fragrance release limited edition fragrance release but i'm gonna get into a quick unboxing and then we'll do this i have it all categorized so let's get into it packaging top tier from the bottle to the bag so it oh it has this little clip like i didn't know this was a clip i'm definitely keeping this um it has a little sticker on it you just rip through the stickers, already procreated, procreate, procreate. Oh my God, I got so many goodies in here. I'm so excited. I'll put the fragrance over to the side and I'll walk y'all through kind of what I've got. So I got that little gift card. Next, I got the Centronelle. Oh, smells so good. It smells like a little, like a nice little spa, like the spa that I used to go to. That's what it smells like. I got the Eau Duel. I got two of the Eau Duel because there were other ones, but I couldn't remember, but Old Duel stuck out, stuck out to me the most. Here it is. So I got these two samples. This one was kind of like a vanilla Tonka bean one. I can't remember which one it was, if it was Tonka bean or vanilla. Along with it, I got, ooh, I got a hand and body oil, a satin oil for body and hair. But yeah, that is all that I got for extras or goodies. And then, I also got a couple stickers. Oh no, they're postcards or are they stickers? And this is Ilio. I'm gonna open it up and then we're gonna jump right into the notes. It has the pretty hand-drawn painted detail on it for the summer limited edition. Here she is in all of its glory. Ilio by Diptyque. Look at that pretty picture. I can't Ilio is Diptyque's limited edition summer fragrance. I believe this is the second year that it's come out and it comes out from June all the way up until August and then it is discontinued. Um, and you don't know if it's gonna come back next summer. So grab your hands on it. Um, this was definitely a big hit and that's why it came back for a second round. This fragrance is part of the floral family and it was $175 for the 100 mil. They do come with the hair mist and things like that. Ilio is a tribute to the Mediterranean. It's in light and fragrance and this is their interpretation of what the Mediterranean land would smell like. I'm so ready to pop this open and smell it. Like y'all, I waited to unbox this till I could do the video today. I've been itching, I've been scratching, I've been fiending for just a little bit of taste of Ilio. So I'm just, I'm just wanna go through this and just hit y'all with it. Now, I do want to say about Diptyque fragrances. Now, this is an Eau de Toilette. Um, however, I do own another Diptyque. What I noticed about their Eau de Toilettes and Eau de Parfums. Usually you think of an Eau de Toilette as a fragrance that doesn't last long. With Diptyque, that's not really it. Their Eau de Toilettes last long, especially on clothes. Um, but it's more of a skin scent. It's more of a skin-like scent. Their Eau de Parfum projects a little more. This is more of like, definitely a very intimate skin-like scent. On skin, you get about five to six, um, but it is definitely very close, intimate scent level. Oh my 
my gosh. I'm so turned on already. I'm so turned on. When I first sprayed this, it's definitely refreshing, clean, and a youthful scent. Very powdery, very floral. You get a, uh, 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 you get a touch of juiciness in there. And I'll tell you what that's from. But it kind of smells like fresh air and grass and like springtime and the sun's out and you're by a fresh thing of water and there's flowers everywhere. I'm gonna get into the notes really quickly. And then um, as I get into the notes, I will give you an update on how the dry down is going so far. This, this is the scent of the summer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ilio is the scent of the summer. I just, it's just giving. For this to be such a good, juicy, fresh, powdery scent to um, kind of invoke the picture that is portrayed on the bottle and what it represents. For it to do all of those things, it is only composed of, I think, four notes. Of four notes. And that's the crazy thing about perfumery. It's all about how it's formulated, the concentrations, the inspiration behind the fragrance will all determine how those four or how different notes play a different role. Uh, let me get into the notes, let me get into the notes, I'm sorry. I has notes of prickly pear, which kinda helps invokes that like freshness, juiciness, but it's not the same juicy as my Louis Vuitton Pacific Chill. Like it has that same juiciness, but this is more youthful. This is more like subtle, kinda blends it in, gives it like the freshness, the fruit in here gives it like a juiciness. That's that's kind of the difference if you ever smelled this. The bergamot, you have bergamot in here and you can definitely smell it. There's jasmine in here. And then lastly, there's iris. The iris kind of gives it like well-roundedness, kind of ties it all in to like a nice, cozy, clean scent. I would definitely wear this on a vacation um, where I'm just like shopping out with the girls, vacation, summer. Um, yeah, this is like a vacation. This is like a vacation cruise type of scent. Like this smells so good. It's definitely meant for the summer, springtime, and it portrays that very well, even within those four little notes. I would say you can dress this up and you could also dress this down, but I would use this mostly for like day to mid afternoon. I wouldn't use this for like a nighttime occasion. If I'm going to go have lunch with a friend and we're going to get a table outside because the weather feels nice, I'm going to wear Ilio. You want to have something simple but remarkable. This I feel like can definitely be a signature um a signature summer scent. Like this plays no game. I need to stop smelling it. It smells very very fresh. Yeah, it smells very 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 fresh and powdery and floral. So if you don't like a flower, a powdery or floral fragrance, I wouldn't necessarily go for this, even though it's it's not heavy floral, but it is floral and powdery. Like that's the main thing. The juiciness of that prickly pear, it turns more to the freshness um, and less into like the juiciness. Now the juiciness of it has faded, um, but you still have the freshness that the prickly pear portrays. But like I said, it's mostly iris, jasmine and the the hint of bergamot it helps the fragrance curate to what it is this blend is really well on here i would say this leans more feminine simply because it is floral but i would love to smell this on a more masculine figure um someone who doesn't really go for like unisex scents. I, this is ultimately a unisex scent but it leans more feminine and i'm gonna say because of the powder powderiness and because of the floralness but i would love to smell this on a gentleman so bad so if you're a gentleman and you have this let me know or go and try it out if you tried it out definitely let me know your thoughts on um ilio by the teak i would give this fragrance an overall rating of a seven out of ten i can see myself wearing this all the time only reason why i'm giving it well a few reasons why i'm Few reasons why I'm giving it a seven out of ten is because I can't wear it morning and night. I feel like this is mostly morning, and then I can't wear it year round. I'm more curating my collection to a year round uh, fragrance, but you know, I like the simplicity of it. It's not too much. Like I said, it's a great vacation. It's it's an easy throw on. It's one of those fragrances where 
you don't have to think too much about what you want to wear you just i don't know what to wear i'm gonna just grab ilio it's summertime it's springtime i feel good i'm gonna go run errands i'm gonna go shopping i'm gonna go to a lunch i want to go to brunch like i'm picking up ilio and you know ilio definitely reminds me of this fragrance right here it reminds me of petite matin by mfk when it comes to that powdery floralness and citrus build they're kind of the same this is more heavy iris base um in my opinion more iris powdery velvety -ness. this is more sharp extra citrus with this with a slight sense of like flair to it i would wear, okay i figured it out i will wear this in the day and i will wear this at night I, although petite matin is more for day as well if i wanted something kind of like ilio but i wanted to go out at night i would pick up petite matin these two are on the same level i don't know ilio is just i would love it i would buy it if i were you i don't think this is a safe blind buy because like i said it is powdery it is floral it is irisy but it's fun it's fun so if you have the chance to go smell it or pick up a sample make sure you go and do that but yeah Thank you for tuning in to today's video, Bestie. It was so fun chilling out with you today while we got to like discover my new scent. I'm so ready to wear it for the summer. I'm just, you know what? I'm not wearing anything else today. <sighs> if you liked today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't watched my last video, go do that. If you haven't watched the video after this, what are you doing? Go do that. And I will see you next time. Thank you, Besties.